We're going to read a leader dog story written by Maggie Weir and friends and illustrated by Maggie Weir. I was the third puppy born in a litter of five Labrador retrievers. My mother is a leader dog mom and my father is a leader dog dad. I am one of the yellow females. I am second from the left with a red collar eating lunch. My brothers and sisters and I were born with our eyes and ears closed, but our noses worked fine and we could smell really well. After our eyes and ears opened, when we were two weeks old and we grew a bit, we had fun playing with each other and with our toys. We liked spending time with people too. When we were six weeks old, our people put all of us in a big crate in their car and drove us to a place called Leader Dogs for the Blind. They seemed sad when they said goodbye. We didn't understand why they were sad because we were excited to start our new adventure. At Leader Dogs for the Blind, we met a lot of new people. Some of them were called veterinarians and they looked at us really closely. Others were called the puppy care team. They fed us and cleaned up after us. Special volunteers played with us and took us for walks. We learned to sit before we ate and to walk nicely on a leash. After we had been at Leader Dogs for the Blind for a week, one of the puppy care team members started taking my brothers and sisters away one by one. I wondered why they didn't come back. When it was my turn, I found out. I was being given to a family. They were called puppy raisers. Now I knew that my brothers and sisters had gone with puppy raiser families too. My raisers spent a lot of time with me. They gave me love and taught me skills like how to sit, stay, and lie down when I was asked. I tried very hard to pay attention and to learn. My raisers told me that I did a good job. Sometimes I made mistakes, but my raisers never got mad at me. I could tell that they were not very happy when they found me chewing on a shoe. They were quick to remind me which toys were mine. I'm learning to chew on my toys instead. Once each month, we went to a meeting for future leader dogs and their raisers. A puppy counselor helped the raisers and puppies practice all of the skills that we were supposed to learn. There were German Shepherds, Golden Retrievers, and Labrador Retrievers. My razors took me almost everywhere they went. We went to stores, schools, restaurants, museums, and even some sporting events. We walked in heavy traffic, crowds, and quiet country roads. We had a great year together. I learned so much. One day, we went back to Leader Dogs for the Blind, and I could feel that there was something different. My razors seemed sad, but I was excited. Little did I know that I would not see them again. I soon decided that Leader Dogs for the Blind was a wonderful place. There were dogs to play with, people who took good care of me, and toys to play with. I had fresh water and lots of good food every day in the Canine Development Center. I was able to share my housing suite with another dog so I wouldn't get lonely at night. Soon, someone called Guide Dog Mobility Instructor came to me and said, we are going to learn many things together. My instructor taught me how to stop at curbs and ignore other animals. I learned how to lie quietly when told and how to wear the harness to proudly lead the person holding onto its handle. At the end of four months, my instructor said, you are going to have a big day today. You will meet your forever partner. It will be your job to help him travel safely because he cannot see as well as you do. I miss my instructor, but my forever partner seemed very nice and really needed my help. Now I will use all the skills I learned from my razors and from my instructor. My partner and I worked hard together. Every day we went somewhere new to practice our skills. Soon we were becoming a team. We took care of each other. After three weeks together, my partner got packed up and we said goodbye to all of our friends at Leader Dogs for the Blind. 
It was time for us to go home and for me to meet my new family. I was really excited. I couldn't wait to begin my new job as a leader dog. Okay, thank you.